Hello, Helen here. Thanks for joining me today. Today's card I'm going to use this ultra new stamp called Beautiful Day. It's one of my most favourite stamps. And I'd seen some um, beautiful background stamps that were floral and then watercoloured with rainbow colours. And I thought, why couldn't I do that with the outline stamp of this stamp set? So I'm going to try that today. I'm going to be doing my background on this Bristol Strathmore watercolour cardstock. It's a super smooth cardstock. And I'm using an acrylic block with the one outline stamp. And I'm going to be stamping it with Versamark um, sticky ink. But because I can't see where I've stamped, I'm going to be putting the white embossing powder on after each stamp just so that I'm not overlapping them or I can see, so that I can see where I'm stamping. Once again I've forgotten to use the powder tool um, to stop any stray powder going where I don't want it so I'll just do that with the rest of the card. Around the edges of my card I'm going to make sure that I overlap the stamps just so that it makes it look like it's a full background and then I'm going to try and jigsaw all the um, flower stamps together just so that I minimize as much of the background as I can so I'm also making sure that I put the flowers um, facing in different directions just so it makes it look more random and just like a background stamp would look like so I'm going to speed up the film a little bit because it did take me a little while I'll pop in some music and I'll meet you back when I'm ready to do the painting. Apologies for this part of the video. For some reason I've either lost the footage or I didn't film the part where I did the heat tool on the embossing that I'd done and continuing doing the, the stamping. So I'm afraid we're just going to have to go straight to the painting but you'll see how it ended up being once I start putting the paint on because you really can't see the white on white very well. To start the painting I've stuck the card panel down with some painters tape just to eliminate as much warping as I can and I've wet the paper with this paintbrush with some clean water and I've also done some smooshing with the ink pads on the um, craft mat beside it and I'm just going to pick up the colour for, with that so I'm going to start with the Salty Ocean Distress Ink and just do an area with that Next I'm picking up a bit of the Twisted Citron um, with the paintbrush and making sure that I overlap some of the blue so that I get a nice blend I'm doing an area with that so I'm really dividing the card up into sort of six areas with the colours 
and I'm making sure that I overlap them so I get a little bit of colour mix and blend the colours together. As I do the next colour I'm cleaning up the mat and smushing this time squeeze lemonade but as I go up the other side of the card I'll do carved pumpkin, um, pick raspberry and then wilted violet and just make sure that I blend. Sometimes I re-ink, put some more ink down and reapply just so that I can get a better blend and then at the end I'm going to dry it off a little bit and then go back over all the colours again just to intensify them a little.
So I left it to dry naturally and then peeled off the painter's tape and trimmed it and this is what the result was. I also did another version where I did colours on the different flowers and made it more a more over all over um, design with the colours. So that's another variation that you can do. The next thing I need to do is stick the trimmed card panels down onto the card base. So I've put double sided tape on the backs of both of those and I'm just going to line up the card panel onto the card base making sure I've got it where I want it. Now while I hold down the card base so that it doesn't shift I grab one of the um, double sided tape strips um, at one end, peel that off, stick it down and then I can peel, bend the card back and peel off all the other double sided tape and stick the rest of the panel down and that way the card doesn't shift and I get it exactly where I want it. I went ahead and stamped a couple of sentiments out of the Ulta New Birthday Greeting stamp set onto some scrap card that I had and I'm now just going to cut out a fishtail banner um, with the white one I'm just going to do one end and with the pink one I'm going to do both ends and then stick them down onto the card with some scotch foam tape. The easiest way to do a fishtail banner is to cut down the center of the card and then cut on an angle from each corner to that central point that you've just cut. It's so easy to do. To finish off the card I put some Nouveau crystal drops in the gloss white just around the sentiment and that's the card completed. So thanks for joining me today. I'll leave you looking at the photos and at the end of the video is a couple of other videos you might be interested in. One is my last card and the other one is another card using the same Ultra New stamp set. So I'll see you next time. Bye for now.